Hello everybody and happy 2022. This is Eddie Gabor. I am the partner of Key Advisors Group. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for our latest market commentary and educational information that we try to push out on a weekly basis. While 2021 was a historic year and some of the best years that some investors had in their investing career, uh, it was kind of the mother of all reflationary trades, especially in the first six months of 2021. And then it got a little bit challenging in the second half of 2021, but we finished extremely strong uh, with our typical Santa Claus rally. And again, uh, if you didn't have a great year in 2021, something was really wrong because it should have been a record year for many of you. I want to talk today about the game plan for 2022, because it is my opinion that 2022 is going to be an extremely challenging investment environment for everyday investors, much, much different than 2021. I would argue that no one alive has invested money in an environment like we are heading into in 2022. And this is why we have been pounding the table on national TV as well as with our clients that the strategy for 2022, in our opinion, should be defense for most investors. Now, if you're a high risk speculator and you just want to gamble, by all means, go ahead and do it. I'm not doing that with the amount of assets that we manage for our clients. Because when we look at the backdrop of what we're going to be facing in 2022, I think there's a lot of compelling reasons as to why playing defense is going to be potentially a winning strategy, especially in the first half of this year. So let's take a look at the record amounts of balance sheet debt we have. Look at the record amount of liquidity that the Fed has put into the system that really helped catapult the market to new highs and had asset prices go through the roof. Well, now they're going to do the complete opposite of what they did in 2021. Couple that with the fact that it is our opinion, based on the research that we use, that we think the economy peaked out sometime late 2021. And those numbers will be later reflected sometime in the first quarter to second quarter of 2022. So we are going to be decelerating in regards to GDP. That is our opinion for the first half of this year. When you decelerate on a GDP level and you have a Federal Reserve that is tightening monetary policy and having to unwind the mother of all balance sheets, I just don't see how it's possible for risk assets to not get damaged and potentially damaged in a big way. We think the setup for this year is going to see a pretty sizable correction in risk assets. We're not here saying we're going into a recession or there's a reason to be, you know, so scared that you do nothing. But we believe that the playbook for this year is to rotate out of your highly speculative investments and go into more defensive plays. For example, areas like healthcare, real estate. We love real estate in 2022. Consumer staples. And for the first time in a long time, gold. Yes, uh, we don't, we haven't used gold a lot here at our firm, but I think this year the setup for gold is fantastic. And when you look at utilities as an asset class as well, too. So when you look at gold, utilities, staples, healthcare, and real estate, you look at those five different areas, it's our opinion that by positioning yourself there, you're positioning yourself in a more defensive position, and you can still do well if the market goes up. But more importantly, in our opinion, if we have the sizable correction that we think we're going to see, potentially the first half of this year, those areas hopefully will hold up much better than someone that's just ignoring the dynamics that's going on around the scenes because eventually it's all gonna to come to a head and the market's gonna to have to digest how they're gonna handle a Federal Reserve that is tightening during a slowdown. Remember, the stock market is not the economy. So the economy can still do okay and the stock market not do okay. And I think it's gonna be a shock to the markets when the Fed starts removing this liquidity from the marketplace. And I don't want to be one that's sitting there with high risk assets when the Fed is starting to tighten while we're slowing down. So when there's so many unknowns, I'd rather play defense than put my pedal to the metal in regards to risk. Now look, time will tell if we're right. This is our opinion. This is how we're positioning the assets for our clients. Uh, this is what we're going to have to wait and see if the things that we are concerned with actually materialize. Okay, but again, when you take a look at the overall dynamics in this marketplace, I want somebody to tell me what is the major catalyst for risk assets to go through the roof in 2022. We don't see it here. 
Uh, so maybe in the back half, if we see a sizable correction, that'll be an opportunity to go into some of these riskier asset classes. But for right now, we're going to play defense and wait and see how this Fed is going to navigate through a time period that has never been seen before. And because of that, that's not a chance or risk I'm willing to take. So that being said, that's our outlook for 2022 in regards to how you should play the first half of this year. And look, when the dynamics change or some of the fundamentals change, we'll change with it. But right now, that's our opinion. We have a strong conviction on this opinion and we'll have to wait and see if we're right, okay? With that being said, I wish you all the best of luck and the most prosperity in 2022, and let's make this a winning year.